Hello, I'm Dr. Leong. Today, I shall be talking about the one minute sit to stand test. The normal oxygen saturation or SpO2 of a healthy person is 95 to 100%. These numbers generally stay unchanged during moderate intensity exercises and may even increase a little as one breathes faster and deeper, resulting in better lung ventilation. During vigorous exercise, like in soccer, you may notice a small drop in SpO2 of about 1 to 2%. When you stop exercising, the SpO2 will return to baseline reading quickly. When a person complains of shortness of breath, the doctor will take a medical history, perform a physical examination, and may order some tests. Diseases of heart, lungs, kidney, and liver may present with shortness of breath. The most common functional impairment in patients with lung disease is impaired gas exchange. In the early stages of many lung diseases, the SpO2 is maintained or normal at rest at 95 to 100%. But when the lung is challenged with increasing demand, like during exercise, the SpO2 may drop. The one minute sit to stand test is used for measuring a person's functional capacity and in detecting exercise induced gas exchange impairment. The one minute sit to stand test and the six minute walk test have good clinical correlation. The one minute sit to stand test is well tolerated and easy to perform. The mean number of sit stand repetitions reported range from 8 repetitions for patients with stroke to 50 repetitions for young men. The test has been validated for use in COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and ILD, interstitial lung disease of various etiologies. There are many uses for the one minute sit to stand test. The test is used to identify subjects with low exercise capacity or preserved exercise capacity. The test is used to detect exercise induced gas exchange impairment early in the course of interstitial lung disease. The test is used to measure the effectiveness of a pulmonary rehabilitation program as an improvement of three sit-stand repetitions is consistent with physical benefits. A doctor or nurse should be present during the test. To perform the test, place a chair of standard height 46 cm without armrest against a wall to prevent the chair from moving and the person falling during the test. Seat the person upright on the chair with knees and hips flexed at 90 degrees, feet placed flat on the floor and a hip wide apart, with arm held stationary by placing the hands on the hips. The person should not use the arms for support while rising or sitting. The person is permitted to rest during the one minute period. Before the test, the following instructions are given. The purpose of the test is to assess your exercise capacity and lift muscle strength. The movement required is to get up from chair with the legs straight and sit back continuing the repetitions as fast as possible within one minute. I will give you the countdown. Three, two, one, go! as an indication to start and I will tell you when we are at the 15 remaining seconds. If required, you may make a break and resume the test as soon as possible. The person should be able to perform a minimum of 5 sit-stand repetitions. The SpO2 and heart rate are noted before and immediately after the 1 minute test. The measurements are noted for a further 1 minute during recovery as oxygen desaturation can continue for up to a minute after stopping the test. 
the number of six stand repetitions is recorded. In early lung disease, a person at rest may have a normal SpO2 of 95 to 100%. However, during exercise, the SpO2 may drop because of increased oxygen demand and the presence of impaired gas exchange in the diseased lungs. A SpO2 drop of 3% or more is considered a positive test. Do not perform the test in the following situations. 1. When the resting SpO2 is already abnormal at 94% or less. 2. When the person is immobile or using walking aids. 3. During advanced pregnancy. 4. Following recent abdominal surgery. 5. Following a recent heart attack. Stop the test when you notice the following. Feeling faint or giddy. Vision becoming dim or blur. SpO2 falling more than 3% from baseline. Sensation of breathlessness which is severe or unbearable. Occurrence of chest pain. You must consult a doctor when the test is positive. The test is being used in some emergency departments and even at home to quickly identify exercise induced oxygen desaturation caused by lung diseases. The test is safest when being done under the supervision of a doctor or nurse. Thank you very much for your kind attention.